Police searching for the gunman who killed a popular college baseball player near Fisherman's Wharf. Family and friends say it was a random attack. Police say he was shot from behind while playing Pokemon Go. They are looking at surveillance video. Walmart and Amazon are now going head to head. Walmart today announcing it's buying online retailer Jet.com for more than $3 billion. Walmart hopes the move will make their online business more competitive. That scary crash at the Olympics, the cyclist from the Netherlands going head over heels on the bike course in Rio. Just incredible landing on her head, suffering a concussion. But she did tweet from the hospital today saying, thank you for your support, saying this is not easy, coming once in every four years. The French gymnast getting back on his feet tonight. Millions saw him suffer a gruesome injury, breaking his leg from the knee down. He's now recovering after surgery, already walking around the hospital, seen right there with his doctor. And still in Rio tonight, a tennis player from Argentina seen right here stuck inside an elevator for 40 minutes trying to get to his match. His country's handball team coming to the rescue. He got out of the elevator, went on to beat the top-ranked player in the world, Novak Djokovic. That elevator was good luck. When we come back on a Monday, Michael Phelps wearing gold. The cover in mystery marks. So many asking, where did they come from? Amy Robach standing by with the science behind it all. ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Brought to you by Claritin.